Good morning, everyone. Welcome to Pre-Market News and Views by In The Money Stocks. Today is Monday, October 17, 2016. My name is Nick Santiago. Thank you all for tuning in this morning. All right, looking at the S&P 500 E-mini futures, you're going to see the futures right here are trading lower by three and three-quarter points to 21, 23 and a half per contract. Futures did get a little bit of a bump higher beginning around 5 o'clock in the morning, but you could see they are starting to revert back down. So, again, we'll watch the futures today until the opening bell rings, and then we will get ready for our day of trading. Now, let's take a look at some stocks in the news. First one up is going to be Bank of America. Looks like they reported earnings. Stock is trading at $16.18, closed at 16 bucks, so it's getting a little bit of an uptick. I don't know if there's much upside here to BAC, but um, either way, uh, we'll see how it plays out today. Uh, I do own put contracts on BAC, just full and fair disclosure, just so everybody is aware. Uh, but we'll see how this stock plays out today. Right now, I see very minimal upside in the name. Next up, we have Hasbro. H-A-S is the ticker symbol. Toy maker, game maker. Right now, getting a nice little pop. Closed uh, at $76.16. Stock is now trading at $80.10 a share. So, very nice little move there for Hasbro. There's going to be a lot of resistance around the $81.40, $81.50 level. Should it trade a little bit higher today? So, just be aware of that. In sympathy to H-A-S, you're going to take a look at M-A-T, which is Mattel. Mattel usually trades in sympathy with Hasbro, and it is doing so this morning. Stock is trading at $30.80, closed at $30.10. So nice little pop there from Mattel as well, trading in sympathy to Hasbro. No real volume behind the name, so we'll see how these names play out this morning. And again, uh, watch that Hasbro resistance point. All right, next up we have JB Hunt. Uh, JBHT is the ticker symbol here. Stock right now is trading at 77.10, very light volume. I believe they had some kind of a guidance or issue, issued some type of guidance. Obviously not that good. Um, we'll see how it plays out once the opening bell rings. I don't love looking at stocks that don't have a lot of volume in the pre-market, but this is one that I think will be in play today once the opening bell rings. So keep it on the radar for a little while longer. If we do get down to around 75.50, I do think that's where the stock finds some decent support for a potential scalp play on the long side. Let's take a look at STZ, which is Constellation Brands. What you're going to see here is Constellation Brands trading right now around 172, closed at 169.46. Um, I think there's some news out there on that. You could check it out for yourself. I'm not exactly sure what it is, but good little pop for Constellation Brands. I think the upside, though, um, probably is somewhat limited here. So be a little bit careful if you own a trail to stop loss. If you don't own it, there's not much we're going to look to do with it at the moment. We will look at this one in the intraday stock chat room once the opening bell rings. And if you want to come over and trade alongside of us, take the seven-day free trial to the intraday stock chat room. You'll see everything that we are doing in there. We've had a great trading week last week. We're going to look to keep that going again this week. Let's take a look here at MPEL. Now, there's this is a stock that is getting hit a little bit today. Not a lot of volume. Stocks trading at... 1457 but all of the casino names are trading down so if you take a look at win resorts that is trading lower take a look at mgm that is trading lower if you take a look here at las vegas sands that is trading lower so all the casino names are a little bit lower it looks like mpel has had 17 or 18 executives um this, this is a strange one, but it looks like they've been detained by Chinese authorities. So again, uh, I'm not sure if you could read into more of it, but um, nobody really knows why they've been detained. But you have 18 or 17 or 18 uh, Crown employees, uh, MPEL employees that have been detained by Chinese authorities. Um, so we'll see how that plays out. I don't know if we can make too much out of it. But uh, again, it is uh, causing a little effect in the stock today. So we'll see how that plays out later. A uh, little later today, around lunchtime, I believe we have the Federal Reserve Vice Chairman, Stanley Fisher. Uh, he will be giving a speech in New York City. So just be aware of that, and uh, that can move markets. We'll see how that plays out. Let's shift gears here a little bit. Let's go to the gold market. Gold is trading down about 40 cents today to around $1,255 an ounce. If we take a look at the GLD this morning, what you'll see here is the GLD is sitting right at 119.57. So... 
Again, GLD with a little bit of an uptick. I don't know if we can make much out of it. Basically right where it closed on Friday. Next up, we have crude oil. Crude oil is trading up by $0.07 cents at $50.42 a barrel. If you take a look at the USO, which is a good oil ETF, you'll see that's trading at 1148 Closed at 11.44 on Friday, so oil is reflecting the slight little uptick. Again, we're not going to make too much out of it. Crude oil and gold are both highly affected by uh, weather, U.S. dollar, and also sometimes interest rates. So keep that on the radar, and we'll look at the dollar as we get started here a little bit later. Right now, the dollar is trading just a tad bit lower. You can see right here at 97.88, down from 97. Uh, 90 or so on Friday. So we'll see how this plays out today. And we'll see what the market gives us again. It is a Monday. Sometimes the volume is a little bit lighter, but nonetheless, we have a lot going on and we do have that big speech by Stan Fisher uh, this afternoon. With that being said, I'm going to leave it here short and sweet. I want to wish you all a great trading session and we will see you on the charts.